Welcome to Carefree IT TV. Today we'll be showing you some handy tricks to use the calculator. You may have seen the regular uh, look of the calculator, but you can change this to a scientific calculator, to a programmer's calculator with all the hexadecimal and binary numbers, a statistics calculator, which is the regular plain calculator with the, all these statistics uh, functions, and uh, the ones which we are covering today are how to calculate your mortgage using the simple plain computer calculator so you what you do is you just simply hit view go to the worksheets and we are doing the mortgage first so you hit mortgage and this is what you see if you want to find what your monthly payments would be let's say your purchase price is 500,000 and you made a down payment of 25,000 your term is 25 years and your interest rate is say 3.5 and if you say calculate it will give you a monthly payment of 2377.96 so you can change these numbers to get the ac accurate monthly payment on your numbers so you're no more relying on your mortgage agent to find out these numbers Another one is how to find your down payment. You can do exact same thing. You can fill in the numbers and calculate it. If you want to make, let's say, hundred, um, let's say it's four hundred thousand, and your term is again, let's say twenty five. Your rate is three point five, and you want to make a monthly payment of let's say two thousand dollars, and you say calculator, and this is the amount that you will be putting it as down payment. Same way we have another one for the vehicle lease. You can calculate the lease period, lease value, periodic payments or what it will be the residual value after the lease period expires. Another handy one is the fuel economy. If you want to see how, what is your average on your car, you can mention like how many kilometers it went with let's say 472 kilometers it went with you added 80 liters of petrol you can say 16 liters were used or consumed to go 100 kilometers so it's liter per 100 kilometers another handy one is the date calculations for example you want to find out what was the date Oh, what is the difference between the two dates like how many days are there between the two dates let's say from um, last year July 9th to today if you say calculate it will give you the exact number of days between these two dates you can also calculate a certain day, a number of days before this date or after this date or certain number of months so you, let's say point I want to find what was the date 90 days before this date i go with the current date say subtract and 90 days i say calculate and this will give me the date 90 days before today's date same thing we can do if we want to find out 90 days after today's date may 29th will be 90 days after today's date so that was all about the uh, data cal uh, date calculation so there is a lot much that you can do with this calculator. It's not simple, plain standard calculator. You can always change the view on these calculators and make use of these functions. Stay tuned for more next week. Till then, have a good day.